world, this is What's Up 290 Plate Hacker, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can anonymize U uTorrent I2P traffic, I mean, sorry, torrent traffic, I2P traffic, or web traffic, or any traffic from your computer at all, or hide the IP address on it using a, pro using a VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's basically, it stands for Virtual Private Network. And basically what it means is you tunnel your traffic through to a server on it that's being hosted by a different computer. But, and uh, this makes it a lot harder to track you by getting your IP address. And also, and also so it most of the times it prevents your ISP from seeing what you're doing. So it's useful for uTorrenting, I2P, all that stuff. So what you're going to want to do is go to this URL here, softether slash download.com, this URL, and then I'll have this URL in the description and it'll say select software. What you're going to want to do is check this one and check soft ether VPN freeware. Select component and just check. And since we're just going to be using a VPN to hide our stuff, just check soft either VPN client. Select platform and select what for this one select what operating system you have, whether it be Windows, Linux, or Mac OS X. And then just uh, click here on the link that that should appear. and just give it a minute to download. I actually already have it, so I'm not going to download it again, just want to show you guys. So basically what you want to do is just, once it's, uh, once it's finished downloading, just run the installer and you'll get this software here, Soft Either VPN Client Manager. That. So once it's installed, just open it. And what you're going to want to do is click VPN Gate Public Relay Servers. It might ask you to add your computer's Wi Fi adapter first. So once you've done that, and you've. You'll just want to click VPN Gate Public VPN Relay Servers. And here is a list of different VPN servers that you can use. You can check the, you can see the IP address of the VPN server, the name of the VPN here, and you can see where the VPN is located. And right here, you can also see the speed of the VPN. You wanna get the one with the one with better speed. You wanna get the one with both high speed and one that's in a different, in one, well actually, you want to focus on getting one that's high speed, otherwise it'll slow your internet connection down a lot if you get one with slow speed. So, yeah, you might even have to, to sometimes try, try different ones to get the best one. So I'm going to select this one in Japan, here, with the 125, 9.5 Mbps. Then once you've selected the VPN or pro VPN of your choice, just uh, click connect to, connect to VPN server. By the way, one more thing that I was going to mention if, if one thing I was going to mention earlier, but I kind of forgot to, sorry. Just uh, if you click connect to VPN server and like it doesn't work, just one thing and like, and, like you try multiple different ones and it doesn't work, one thing you might want to try doing is shutting off any firewalls that are on your network because if you have like if you do have like a firewall on your network what could potentially happen is your firewall could see the VPN traffic and and see the like oh it's connecting to all these different random port numbers shut the connection off and your VPN will get blocked as a result so if you do have any if you try this and it doesn't work and you have firewalls on your network I would suggest 
trying and seeing if shutting your firewall for does the trick. So just click connect to the VPN server once you've chosen the one you wanted. And just click, just read this and then click agree if you still want to go ahead with that VPN. And it'll say use and it'll come to this screen. Now if you use TCP and it gets blocked by your firewall that like you can't shut off then just try using UDP but I would recommend using TCP because it's a it uses HTTPS with which means it's which means it will use an encrypted connection to the VPN which will prevent your ISP from seeing what you're doing with the VPN or prevent and if you're you know U-torrenting it all in turn it'll prevent your ISP from seeing your U-torrent or your ITP traffic so just select this one and click OK. And it's going to say it's connecting. And once it's done connecting, that message it just flashed up, that is what your IP address of your computer appears to be. So now I'm connected to the VPN and as a result, all of my traffic from my computer is going through the VPN and I have the fake IP address and I can download torrents through uTorrent or stuff through ITP or whatever and it's gonna be a lot harder for them to trace me now because I'm using the VPN so once you're done to, to shut the VPN off you just right click it and then click disconnect and then you are now disconnected from the VPN and if you go to any if you do anything now your uh, I, your real IP address will be revealed so that's about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like comment subscribe this is what's up 290 and I'm signing off have a nice day and I'll see you next video